Hi everyone, I'm Dave from Polypad, and in this Polypad pointer video, I'm going to show you how to use the rectangle, regular, custom, and circle tiles in the polygon shapes category. I'll start with the rectangle, and there is a black handle in the bottom right hand corner. As you click and drag that black handle, it changes the size and shape of this rectangle. A feature that you may not know is as I hold down the shift button on my keyboard and click and drag this black handle, you can see I can only make squares. So that is a tip that you might find useful as you want to build squares. If at any point there's a shape that you're, you're happy with and you want to turn off the handle, you can find that toggle under the gear menu. So I'll click on the gear and here I can turn off show handles. And now I have this square without the handle there. I can turn it back on in the gear menu as well. If at any point in this video, I am showing you features in the gear menu that are not available for you as you explore on Polypad, head to the file tab in the sidebar and click on features and make sure in the drop down menu, you have everything selected and then all of the options will appear in the, in the gear menu. Okay, so that's the rectangle tile. Our regular tile starts as a regular hexagon. All of the side lengths of the regular hexagon are the same as the side length of the square that you can find at the top of the polygon shapes category. But there's a black handle that allows you to change the number of sides of this regular polygon. So I can click and drag it and go from an equilateral triangle with three sides. I'm clicking and dragging all the way up to a 24 sided regular polygon. So that is a, a helpful tile if you're interested in making a variety of regular polygons. Again, they all start with a side length of one, but you can click on the gear to apply a scale factor to these polygons. So if I want to make it twice as big, I can make a scale factor of two, that's applying to the side length. I could type in 0.25 to make it a quarter and so on. I'll go back to, uh, maybe I'll make it 1.5. Okay, so that is the, um, is the regular polygon tile. Again, under the gear menu, you can turn off the handle to have that not appear if you like. Let's go to the circle tile. Here there's a black handle that allows you to click and drag to change the size of the circle. So maybe I want to put it in back of this polygon. Uh, and so under the gear, one of the options is layer. I want this circle to be in back of the polygon. So I'm going to layer this in back and I can see that I have that in back of the regular polygon. And again, on the circle, I can turn off the handle as well. So that's the circle tile. Really helpful to make a variety of of different size circles. And finally, let me show you our custom polygon. You can see it starts as a pentagon with five vertices. What's really helpful on the custom polygon is I can click and drag these vertices anywhere I want on the canvas to make a variety of, of pentagons. But uh, you can add a vertex to this shape by clicking anywhere on the edge. So I can click right here to add a vertex to make a hexagon. Now I have seven vertices. I can keep going. Here's eight, nine, and so on. So you can make any shape polygon that you like. If at any point there's a vertex you want to delete, simply click on that vertex and it goes away. So I'll click on those to make that a straight line. Cool. Uh, now, if there's a shape that I'm happy with and I don't want to move the vertices by accident, there's an option in the action bar called Fix Vertices. So I'll click this and you can see those handles go away. Here's a shape now I can rotate it, I can change the color, I could even apply a scale factor to it if I wanted to, um, but I can't move the vertices anymore. Our custom polygon is useful in so many contexts. Let me just share one final example. I'll turn, I'll turn on the grid background. Let's say I want to make a variety of, of parallelograms. Click on this vertex to remove it. And what's nice here, as you're seeing, all of those vertices snap to the grid lines as well. So I can click fix vertices. There's a parallelogram. Let me make one more up here. 
And again, that ability to click and drag the vertices and have them snap to the grid and then fix the vertices when you don't want to move them, I can change the color, is really useful in a variety of contexts. So that's a quick overview of the rectangle, regular, custom, and circle tiles in the polygon and shapes category. I hope you found this polypad pointer video helpful. Thanks for watching.